the left, the right, and tech companies all have reasons to dislike the Journalism Competition and Preservation Act of 2022. I want to go through my personal understanding of the intent of this act, what this act would actually do, and why the different groups do not trust this act. Let's begin with intent. The intent is what people would consider a good one. Saving small-scale journalism, your local newspaper. And the idea is that people see a headline, see a little blurb below the headline on Google or Twitter or Facebook. They don't actually click the link or they go to a bigger media organization to view their version of the story. So the small-scale journalist is putting in all this work. No one's going to the website. They're not getting paid. And therefore, what if they got paid by just having their link shown? People are referring it to it as a link tax, being paid for having your link shown. How would this be accomplished? Well, the idea, from my understanding, is having a joint negotiating media entity, multiple media groups getting together and making up rules and payouts with the companies. A joint negotiating entity of media basically working with social media and search engines to figure out what would be a fair pay. Now, there's a lot of worries about the rules part and things like that, which we'll get to, but I wanna start with the tech companies. Because the tech companies don't actually want to do it at all. They believe that you are actually getting a benefit by someone linking to you. For example, Facebook. If someone links your news article or you link it yourself, why should Facebook pay you when P Facebook is driving people to you? If your link isn't enough to make people want to click your website, that's your fault. Facebook's helping you. And Facebook is threatening to actually remove all news. Yeah. Now that's not a possibility for somewhere like Google. So what would Google consider doing? Well, Google's worry is they lose power over some of their control. For example, from my understanding, these media entities, this group media entity, if you're involved in it, you can't say, no InfoWars, because InfoWars is a journalistic organization. You can't just say you don't want them. You would have to have a reason that they violated the rules and the agreement. From my understanding, that's how that would work. So Google would lose the ability to just block a platform. So why does the left not like it? Well, the big reason is, let's imagine you're on Facebook and your crazy Aunt Bertha posts an InfoWars or a natural news link. You seeing that link is paying those people. They don't want their money going to those people. Also, many liberals do not believe the joint negotiating entity would be liberal because so many media organizations are Republican-led, including, for example, CNN. They think it would be conservative bias. Conservatives... If you read their articles and their worries, one of their big worries is the rules could say, I can't say you can't be a conservative, but it could, for example, let's say they don't have to list your website if you allow misinformation. Does that include 2020 election misinformation? What if they ban hate speech and they say in the rules that's agreed by this joint negotiating entity that Google can delist your entire website if it's hate speech? Who's deciding that? That's the big concern I'm seeing in the conservative sphere. They believe it's the end of conservative journalism, but also believe the joint negotiating entity would be liberal because they believe the entire media organizations everywhere, mainstream media, is all liberals. So, what is my opinion? It's a mess. It, it, it's not, I don't think it's actually going to save small-scale journalism. Do I think it'll favor one side or the other? Yeah, one side or the other is going to come out more positive than the other. I think it's just going to funnel more money out of Google and Facebook and instead give it to places like CNN, Fox News, MSNBC, instead of the small journalists that they're claiming it's actually for. I think the big guys are just going to take most of the money and they're going to have most of the power when it comes to the joint negotiating entity to make sure they profit the most. Seems like a bad idea to me. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know if you think I've misunderstood the bill or what's happening. But I completely understand why basically everyone except these journalist companies that are looking at a possible windfall from Google and Facebook would like it. I just don't see it being good for anyone. Um, 
I feel like everyone has a different reason to be against it. And I don't think at the end of the day, anyone's going to actually be happy with it. 